back at it again and normally i don't touch on topics like this but um let's switch it up today like share comment and hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's dive in jada pinkett smith the wife over 23 years of Will Smith. This is supposed to be Hollywood's aspirational couple. There are only a few of them who are supposed to look at them and go, I want to be just like them. Uh -uh. Then things started appearing in the press, especially when Jada Smith had her Facebook show, which was called Red Table Talk, where we started realizing that something wasn't quite right with this relationship. Something That's was very different about this relationship, which obviously then culminated into Will Smith smacking Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars. What's going on behind the scenes? Well, Jada Pinkett Smith is- I'm not gonna lie, that whole situation looked a little staged when, when it first happened. I touched on it, um, but sheesh. <laughs> is now doing a press tour to reveal that <coughs> actually her and Will Smith have secretly been completely separated for the last seven years. And now mm. they are growing exhausted with maintaining the lie. She sat down with Hoda Kotb of the Today Show and here's what she had to say. Take a listen. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through mm. whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately. We live separately. A lot that I can say there, but I'm just going to state the obvious, which is that Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith are frauds. It's annoying to me to watch pieces of this interview which are circulating in which Hoda and the Today Show cast almost make it seem like, oh, well, isn't this brave that she's speaking out about this? Oh, now she's going to be on the cover of People and she's going to divulge even more details in a book and you guys are going to be able to see what's been going on in their relationship. No, none of this is brave. In fact, all of this is incredibly basic, right? Again, the idea is that people in Hollywood are aspirational. Don't you want to be just like them? Look nope. at the money they had. They have. Look at the fast cars they have. And then you now. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Please. <laughs> in terms of the cash, oh, I would love it. I think we all would. You know why not? But if I have to do what they have to do in order to get it, nah, I'm cool. I'll t I'll take the money. But if there's stipulations that come with it, then no. Right? I think I I I, I think. 99.9% .9 of people all would say, yes, I'll take the cash, right? I'll take the cash. And then you got about 50% of the, those folks who would say, nah, I don't want it if we got, if I, if I have to do what they have to do. And um, yeah, I'm of that camp. I'll take the money as long as I ain't got to do what they do. See a relationship and they've got a family and they've got a son and they've got a daughter and they've been together for years. Black love, hashtag black <coughs> love. This is amazing. Who wouldn't want to be like them? Me, because let me tell you something. Nice. You are a better person than both Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith if you get up every day and you live an honest life. If you get up every day and you earn an honest living and you come home to your family, that's it. Yes, that's all it takes for you to be better than these people. I've told you guys for years, I absolutely hate Hollywood because it is ridden with frauds. Everywhere you go, there's a fraud in Hollywood and you're finding out just how fraudulent it gets. You mean to tell me that since 2016, they've been putting on an act, hitting red carpets together, showing each other affection, better yet, preaching to the rest of us about how we should live our lives, right? Wasn't that the purpose of Red Table Talk? Something cool and something cultural. Bring it to the table. We'll talk about these things that are so real and so honest and so brave and so straightforward. There was nothing brave, nothing straightforward about, about anything that she demonstrated other than her ability to lie to the masses for years. In fact, here's an example of that. She was on Watch What Happened Live, sitting down with Andy Cohen years ago, talking about how she keeps her relationship spicy, when in reality, they weren't even together. Take a listen. How long have you guys been together? <laughs> uh, 23 years. Wow. That's amazing. And in Hollywood years, that's 60 years, exactly. everybody, right? Exactly. Wow. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled.
baffled, really. Yeah, right. We're all baffled, Jada, of how it's possible for you to be <laughs> this fraudulent and to Yeah, how awkward is that, man? Like, my goodness. To smile and in everybody's faces and to insert yourself as an authority in their <laughs> lives, as an authority on how relationships should be dealt with, knowing that you weren't in a meaningful relationship really ever with him. We've heard you speak about how you cried on your wedding day. We've heard you outwardly speak about how you cheated on him. I guess I guess you probably don't consider it cheating because you guys weren't together. But yes, it was cheating because you guys were married. We're a married couple and vows mean something, no matter how much Hollywood is trying to convince the masses that really they don't. It can be progressive. We can, we can consciously uncouple. Uh, we can stay married and sleep with other people, uh, which is exactly what she did, by the way, when she decided to carry on an affair with a young man who was in his early 20s. I think he was 23 years old, a rapper named August who was friends with her son, yeah, Jaden, mm -hmm. she carried on an affair with one of his friends after he met her when he was young. Absolutely disgusting, despicable. You can't even consider the impact that it has had on the mentality of their children. Here's a picture of August. And you might notice that he looks a little different than clean-cut Will Smith. And there's a reason for that. It's because Jada Pinkett Smith is for the streets. I say that because <laughs> everything that she has told us about herself and her upbringing and her lifestyle and the things that she craves indicates that what she really wants is somebody that's a little harder than Will Smith. Absolutely. She's obsessed with Tupac. She's talked about Tupac for years following his death. Will Smith even conveyed this in his own book, that he was jealous of the special bond that she carried with, with Tupac, and she still holds a torch for him, despite the fact that he passed many years ago to this day, because that's what she wants. She wants to be a part of the thug life. As I said, she is for the streets while trying to convince. Yeah, this whole thing is really awkward. And I think it also leads to a bigger question. And that question is, does this have possibly something to do with the alleged decline in testosterone levels in men? Uh, you know, because <laughs> if you remember, even Alex Jones was talking about this many, many years ago uh, in terms of the frogs. <laughs> Which I'm just, I could just hear Alex Jones's voice in my head, which is just absolutely hilarious. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. It just, it just makes you wonder, like, what, what, what's going on with this? Does it have something to do with that? I mean, is it just, he's just, uh, uh, in the words of Jesse Lee Peterson, beta, you know, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know you that her family has attained something that if only everyone understood how open and honest and amazing things could be they could have it too now i'm going to run this interview back for you from her red table talk facebook show back in 2020 when she invited her husband to talk about her affair that she had to essentially tell the public that it was totally fine that she cheated on him because he wasn't doing the things that he needed to do as a man. Yeah, you can't even imagine a man sitting down, agreeing to sit down and do this publicly, but somehow Will Smith did. And it's so cringeworthy, we should watch it again. Take a listen. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> I'm that husband, I'm with, now I gotta be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> Like, I love, I love my baby. I'm going to stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Do you want to know what you should look at it as? Will Smith being officially spayed and neutered. That's what it is. We have just watched this completely over the last year unfold. The spaying and the neutering of Will Smith, formerly a man, formerly someone that people looked up to as an actor, now realizing that he doesn't have an ounce of manhood left in him because he refuses to file for divorce from this vile creature. Not vile because she's agreed to have this relationship. By the way, I'm not removing him from this. Both of them sat down and agreed to have this, not relationship, lack of a relationship, right? This fraudulent marriage so that they can maintain appearances in the public, but vile because she keeps publicly embarrassing him in this way. She routinely, publicly shames him in this way. 
there's nothing left of Will Smith. There really isn't, you know. And now we obviously have an example of that having been at the Oscars. New context provided. They weren't even married. So how fraudulent could Will Smith have been to say, don't keep my wife's name out of your mouth, thug life. Keep my wife's name how dare you even use that title, wife, to describe somebody that you are not only living an entirely separate existence from, but also allowing other men to sleep with? is isn't your wife. You are not a husband. These words have meaning, sacred meaning. It is a union that happens under God, but not in Hollywood, because nothing happens under God. In fact, everything happens under Satan. Yeah, it's demonic. That's what I try to remind you every single day on this show that none of these people are aspirational. They're all dogs. They're all for the streets. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> hey, Candace don't play, man. She does not play at all. They're all for the streets. You know, and I, I just found this story really interesting, you know, to, to see all of this play out and to, to think, like, why act? I mean, yes, they are actors, but I, I don't know. That That is just the ultimate strange, you know, like, why fake it? I I don't get it. It's, it, it's not that deep, you know? Like, y'all separated. People do that all the time. It's an unfortunate, yeah, sure, but, like, why, why fake it? Get on TV, do interviews, and pretend, and... You humiliate the man, and I, I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm baffled. If we have any psychologists watching, let me know what in the world is going on here. Y'all talk to me, please, because that is just wild. And like I said, yeah, this is something a little different that I don't normally touch on. But hey, you know, gotta do something different sometimes. You know, y'all, y'all, let me know if y'all enjoyed checking out a little something different today in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.